Hello. Hello everyone and welcome once again to Unaya Podcast TV and we are still at Takradi and today we shall be looking at the vocabularies pertaining to the Ghan traditional religion and culture in the Ghan language and yeah this lesson is very very important for you to understand some basic basic ways okay that are very cultural to the Ghan people and the song you heard during the opening of the video is the me lala or clama lala clama lala okay yes the reason why i call them me lala or clama lala is because they are dangbe okay they are dangbe songs so me lala that's how the gamma will call it so the Melala is how we the gang say it, but the dangbes will not say, no say clam lala. But because you are saying gang, we say me lala. Then you can feel some songs now playing on the in the background, and that is the play lala because that one is originally gang. Play lala, play lala. All right. So this video. Is dedicated to three people. First of all, Mama Asantua Ford for her continual support to make sure that everything I do is successful, and also to Mr. Joshua Lamte, Joshua Neil Lamte, or Neil Josh TV. Yeah, um, he pledged to support me, and I'm grateful he's doing. Also to the do alabi family yeah mausi do e maululu do yeah also to my late father mr tiflo stete yeah this video is also in hana is tributed to him all right so without wasting much time let's just continue now our next word is kusun and kusun translates as culture kusun culture okay culture so the guy people have their culture kusun and the guys believe in what you call jema wajin jema wajin that is um, aboriginal deities or spirits of nature jema wajin now jema wajin is plural the singular for jema wajin is jema wong Jema Wong, that's the singular version. Jema Wong. And the Ga people, okay, they have this um, altar for the worship of the Jema Wajin, which is called Otutu in the Ga language. Otutu, so Otutu is altar. So they don't really have statutes for these deities. They only have the altars where they invoke them from. So the altar is Otutu. And then the statue is Amaga. Amaga. Statue. Amaga. 
Now, these deities, okay, they have they, they are believed to be kept in a room called Bachun. Bachun. So you can see the image of a Bachun on your screen. Bachun. Now, the Ga people also believe that if a deity is fashioned as a statue, then it's no more a Jima one, it's no more about original. It is now a one. That is, a one is more like a non aboriginal deity. Also, most girls, if they want to be specific, they'll say Chofa Wong. Chofa Wong. So that is a non aboriginal deity. So they have, they are made of statues. So when a girl, people believe that Chofa Wongi are statues that are being worshipped, but they don't worship statues, they just believe in the spirits of nature. Okay. Now, a priestess, a girl priestess is known as Woyo. Woyo. And a priest is known as Wonu. Wonu or Wonche. Wonche. So for a male is either Wonu or Wonche. But a female is Woyo. Woyo. Now we have a herbalist in the Ga language, and a herbalist is either Chufache or Bachelo, Chufache or Bachelo, Chufache or Bachelo. Okay, so a song in Ga is Lala, Lala. Also, important to this lesson, okay, is Christian vocabs in Ga, which you can find in the description box below. Okay, yeah. Then we have ba. Ba ba means a leaf. Ba a leaf. So ba chelo leaf tiara. That is a herbalist. Now in in the Ghana culture, priests and priestesses they wear white, plain white, as you can see on your screen. So the wearing of the color white, the cloth white is called klala. The material used to you use for those clothes is klala, and when the material is red, it is called kojang, kojang. And when it is black, it is called blishi, blishi. From the Guan word bili, Nguan bili is black, so blishi. Yeah. So when it is white, it is klala. When it is red, it is kojang. When it is black. It is bleaching. Now, the Ga people believe in this native pot. That is kukwe. kukwe. When it is ordinary, it is kukwe. But, but when it is used in the cultural setting, and it's no more kukwe, it's now kulo. kulo. So, the Ga people believe that witches, okay, because it's now for magic, the pot now for magic is now kulo. Okay, so a witch is aye in the Ga language, aye. So witches use kulo, and then traditional priests and priestesses also use kulo for their magical stuff. Okay. Then we have a nawa. Nawa. Nawa is a bell. When it is just an ordinary bell, it is mele. But then, when it becomes cultural, it's no more male. It is now nawa, nawa. So sha and nawa. So when you are okay, um, how do I say? Sounding the bell or ringing the bell or shaking the bell because it's just how they call it sha nawa, sha nawa. Then broom, when it is ordinary broom, it is called blo, blo. But when it comes cultural, it is no more blo. It is now blechi, blechi. So as you can see on your screen, you see the priestess dancing with a blechi. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. So we have Wulomo. Wulomo is the highest priest. Okay. The Dangbe's call him Wono. So Wono is the highest priest in Dangbe, but Wulomo in Ghan. So yeah, you can see images of a Wulomo on your screen. Ghana people believe in prayers. Prayer is Solomon. Solomon. But you can also say Inpayeli, Inpayeli, which is borrowed from the Guan language. Inpay, Inpaye, okay, Inpaye. So Inpaye is Guan, and the Guan, the Gans have also borrowed it. So Inpayeli, that is libation. So maybe to pour libation, you say Ye Inpay, Ye Inpay. I'm pouring libation. Me ye in pie. Me ye in pie. The Ghana people believe in an almighty creator. And this almighty creator is Okbele Jane. Okbele Jane. But he has other names like Bolomawu, Chache, Shiche, Nyongmo. Atana Nyungmo. Now, the concept of Atana Nyungmo, Ghan people believe that um, God is not male, is not female, is more of a non binary, is non binary. Non binary is not male, is not female, because the binary concept is just male and female. Non binary means you are not fully male, you are not fully female, you are in, you are in between. Yes, so the Ghan people view the Creator as a non binary gendered God. So it's non-binary. Now, I, I earlier mentioned Pele. That is um, Pele Lala. Okay. Now the religion of the Ghan people is Pele. Pele. But then when the Ghan people are dancing during Pele or are dancing Pele, it is called Pele Jo. Pele Jo. So the word Jo means dance in the Ghan language. So Pele Jo. Or Pele Shemo, you can say Pele Jo or Pele Shemo. So Shek Pele, Dance Pele, or Jo Pele. Jo Pele. Or for the Dang base, it is Me Jo. Or Me Shemo. So maybe if the Dang base dance, Dang Dan will say Shemme or Jo Me. Either of the two. Now let's get back to the word witch. A witch in Ghan is Aye. And a wizard is Akbaso. Akbaso. And then usually the, the, the belief is that they are creating darkness, which is Doom. Doom. Okay. Doom. That is darkness. And then the opposite of darkness, which is light, is Kane. Kane. Light. Now we have what you call cowries, which is also used during the Afa divination. And cowries is Trema. Trema in the Ga language. Trema. Now during the play or the May, um, we have the master musician, someone who receives songs from a possessed priestess. So receives it and then gives it back to the priestess. And for the guy, that the this receiver or this master musician is Ulai. Ulai. But for the Dangbe, he is Palo. Palo. So the guy will say Ulai. The Dangbe will say Palo. Now uh, we have the Agma. Okay. Usually, I buy the general name, but Ga and Dangbe is a bit distinguished. The girls call the leader of the Agba as Agba Fuyache. Agba Fuyache. That's the leader of the spiritual leaders. He's not necessarily the highest priest. When it gets to dealing with priestesses during Pule, he is in charge. And the Dangbe's call this Agba Fuyache as Agba Biache. Agba Biache. Okay. So the Agba Biache, his assistants are the Agba B for the Dangbe's. Agba B. But maybe the guy is Agba Fui. Agba Fui. 
hope you are getting it all right so and also without my time we want to let you understand that um i have a, an article that talks of all the deities in the ga and dangwe communities and that is the play deities of the Ghana, which you can find in the description box below. Okay, the description you can find the names of God, the play deities, and vocabularies pertaining to Christianity, and other lessons which are more important or says as RPK for this particular lesson. Okay, then for someone to get possessed, that is Shimo, Shimo. So we say Eishi. She is possessed or he is possessed. Hey, is she? Or a machine. Hey, is she is more of the contem contemporary form now. But originally, we say a machine. A machine. Now, a festival is Afi. Afi. Or Afi Yeli. Afi Yeli. So, Afi or Afi Yeli. Okay. Yes, and the Ghana people do not celebrate. The Ghana people do not celebrate one festival. We have different types of festival. Like we have the Belejo festival of the Nungwa people. We have the Homowo festival. We have the Bahashimo festival of the people of Teshi. Okay, yeah, and many others. Obineshimo festival. Kloyosi Klemi Festival, Asafotufian Festival, and many others. So there are a whole lot of them. Even Mahajangedomi Festival, the people of Nugo. So it's a whole lot. And I would like to mention the names of some few el elder deities across. So maybe for people of Gamashi, we have Nai, Numu Nai of the sea. Okay who you can see is Poseidon and um, that the Greeks believe to be Poseidon we also have Nadu and Klote of the people of Usu then we have um, Lakma and Jobu of the people of La then we have Ligble of the people of Teshi and Ayiku the people of Teshi and Lalue. In Nungwa, we have Bobu. For the people of Tema, we have Sakumo. Then maybe you move to Bo, then we have Nomo Aya and his deputies like Nomo Gao and Nomo Clan. And you go to Pram Pram, we have Nomo. Dible and Ma Lalue, then Ma Jange, and it goes on and on and on. All right, we've learned dance as Joe. Then we have Ko, which is a forest, so you can see a depiction of Ko. That that's the Nungwa te, uh, Techo Ko. Okay, that's the Techo Na. That's the footage you see on your screen. So maybe during the play festivals, okay, all the homo festivals, sometimes they ask the deities to leave the town so that the humans can perform some rites, then later they come. So that right, uh, usually when they go, what we say is enyoko me, that is for single, so enyoko me they are gone to the forest or amenyoko me they are gone to enyoko me he is gone to the forest amenyoko me they are gone to the forest amenyoko me then we have yala that is a funeral yala or yala femo yala femo a funeral now how do we say an old man we say numo numo or yomo Yomo. The plural of Numo is he may, he may, or ye may. The people of Gamashin they say he may ji and ye may ji, but that's the 
Gamashin dialect, but he may and ye may is the word for old men and old women. Now, how do we say a king in the Ghan language? That is Manche. Manche. So, if you want to learn more about kingship and the Ghan political system, check the description box below. It will also be hovering on the screen. You will see the video Rose of Chieftaincy in the Ghan traditional society. It's also below, it's also hovering on the screen. Yeah. So, the king of the town or the chief of the town has his deputy, who is Ochiame. Ochiame. Okay, then um, usually when I'm making libation, that is the inquiry, they use drinks. And drink in Ghana language is said as da. Da. So whether it is alcoholic or non alcoholic, it is still da. But if you want to be specific, then the alcoholic one is dani nawa. Dani nawa. Then the non alcoholic one is dani nawa. Dani nawa. Okay. Mostly they tend to use castle bridge and schnapps for their libations and all that. Then we have this local drink called Meda. That is made from fermented maize, Meda. When you come, well, if you want to taste Meda, just come down to Ghana, come to the Ghana land, look for a funeral, you will see. <laughs> yeah. Then we have Sisa. Sisa is a ghost. Sisa. A ghost. Ghana's believe in ghosts. Girls do believe that when someone dies, there's an afterlife. But, he has, but if he has an unfinished business, he has to solve it before moving on to the afterlife. If the person did good things, when he goes to the afterlife, he becomes an ancestor. If the person is very wicked, when he goes to the afterlife, he will be made to, be made to stand on feet and will never have peace. There's, the guys don't believe in hellfire. They believe that you'll be made to stand as punishment. And you'll be questioned. And it's like you'll, not, you'll never be offered the seat. So you'll be standing for the rest of your life as punishment. Now, Caesar is a spirit who is at peace, who died peacefully. But if the spirit is vengeful, he's no more Caesar. He's Otofo. 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 Now, cemetery is go, go, cemetery. How do the Dangbe's also call ghosts? They say, Bade, that is a ghost in the Dangbe language, Bade. And then we have Adope, Adope is a dwarf. Girls do believe that dwarfs are spirits of nature that are very small. It's part of our folklore, very, very small about almost like a toddler but they are bearded and very stubborn what the white believers goblins we be, we call them dwarfs adope when they are known as abodo abodo we also believe in marine spirits that's mami water mami water or papa water so mami water is female then papa water is male And in spirit, spirit in itself, we call them mumo, mumo. So evil spirit is mumo fong, mumo fong, evil spirit. We also believe that twins are spirits. And what, 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 what is a twin? Twin in Ghana is said as haji, haji. That's a twin, haji. And when you give birth, the right you perform to initiate them or to bring we have right to perform on the eighth day maybe in america they'll say baby shower over here we say bojemo 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 so bojemo means outdooring you're outdooring the child bojemo okay now i want you to watch this video and i'll talk about it <laughs>
is known as the Pashimo. Pashimo. Okay, which the people of Nungwa say it as Kolo Shimo. Kolo Shimo. The Dangbes will say Pashimi. The people of Bugulan, they say Pashimi. Okay, but when we use the Pa or when it's more cultural, but people of Gamashin, they will say Jama. Jama. The people of La have this Shakamo. And what is Shakamo? Shakamo is more of an annual something during the La festival. So, uh, usually it as Lakma Ekbeyo, where that day is more like if you, uh, if you are maybe female, a male can just wrap himself at your behind. Okay, just wrap his front at your behind. Yeah. And it's cultural here. You are not supposed to get offended because it's just a once in a year thing. It's part of the La Festival. So if you get offended on that day, no, 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 no. That's our culture. Okay, but maybe any other day, yes, but on that particular day, because the festival, you're supposed to understand. But as a person, anyone will do it to, uh, to you. Yeah. Then we have this interesting word, Amam Probi. Amam Probi. Amam Probi is the people of Nungwa, their way of burying a traditional leader. And Amam Probi comes from the Guan word, Oman Probi. Oh, yes, Oman Improbi. So Improbi in the Awutu Guan language means small or little. The Oman is a town, so Oman Probi. That's why I say Aman Probi, Aman Probi. So it's a small town for the ancestors. That town that takes you to the land of the ancestors, Aman Probi. Yeah. So you can see a footage of an Aman Probi on the screen. <laughs> any questions if yes can do let me know ask below and lessons that are important for this is the names of God in God which you can find in the scripture below the article on the deities it is a, a long page article which when you read I'm going to understand all about the God play and make deities okay if you are interested about the God mythology can you read that article Children's into the Christian religion. All right. If you need my assistance for private lessons, why not? You can just contact. If you need any other assistance, you can let me know. So without much time, I waste. Thank you very, very much. Catch you in the next lesson. And I'll be. If you want to see, as I'm in Takradi at the moment, if you want to see other travel videos of mine, just look below you see who near your highness tv where the subscriber comes click on it you will see home videos playlist click on the playlist you see best places to visit in ghana have those travel videos click on it and you can see lots of places you can just go through and you can find places to visit in the country you can follow me on facebook who near tete or tiktok who near tete you can see my number on screen you can just contact me and also if you want to know the list of lessons on this channel, still use my blog, Historical Hunya. That's where even the article is. That's where I've published about 22 articles there on Ghanaian languages. Places to visit and the whole lot, they are all there. You can easily read any article of your choice. Yeah, and if you are attached to support what I do, you can still WhatsApp me and I'll be glad for your assistance. Thank you very, very much. And all I see is, Nye yi wala don, Nye chumi yo.